Hi, boys and girls. For our story today, we are going to read about fish. And fish live in a part of the world that makes up most of the world. So fish live in the ocean. So I thought it would be cool to talk about fish that live in the ocean today since our week is themed all around the earth. All right, let's read. How do fish live? Living in freshwater. Fish live in water. Some fish live in freshwater. Rivers, ponds, and most lakes are freshwater. Living in saltwater. Many fish live in saltwater. Oceans and seas are saltwater. Most fish live either in freshwater or in saltwater. Living in freshwater and saltwater. A few fish, such as salmon and European eels, can live in both freshwater and saltwater. Salmon leave the sea to swim up rivers to breed. The European eel leaves its home in the river and swims out to sea to breed. Fish are cold-blooded animals. This means they are as warm or as cool as the water they live in. Fish will get weak if the water becomes hotter or colder than they are used to. They will move to where the water is the right temperature for them. The desert goby can survive very high water temperatures. How do fish breathe? All animals need oxygen to live. Air contains oxygen. Water contains oxygen too. Fish get the oxygen from water by using their gills. A fish's gill with a gill cover removed. But here's the gill cover. The gills of most fish, like these trout, are protected by a gill cover. A fish sucks in water through its mouth. When the fish closes its mouth, the water is pushed between the gills and squirted out past the gill covers. Blood vessels in the gills take the oxygen out of the water. So how a fish breathes, water goes in and comes out the gills. Gills take oxygen from water. So it goes in through the mouth, and then look, it kind of goes around all of these gills and out the gill cover. Do you know that some fish can survive out of water? Mud skippers can get out of the water to move from mud flat to mud flat. Mud flat, excuse me. On land, the mud skipper breathes using water it stores in its gills. The climbing perch can also leave the water in search of insects to eat. Out of water, a climbing perch breathes air. The lungfish can breathe both in and out of water. It has gills so that it can breathe underwater. The lungfish also has two lungs. It can breathe air just like we can. During a drought, the lungfish burrows into the mud when its swamp dries out. It lives in its burrow until the drought is over. The lungfish breathes through a hole in the top of its burrow. That's pretty crazy. How do fish swim? Most fish swim by wriggling their bodies and tails from side to side. A parrotfish. The body and tail move, the oops, excuse me, the body and tail push the water away to move the fish forward. Most fish also use their fins for swimming. Here's the dorsal fin, the anal fin, the pelvic fin, and the pectoral fin. This is a grunter. The dorsal and anal fins help keep the fish's body steady in the water. The pectoral and pelvic fins help the fish steer and stop. They are just like the oars on a boat. The tail fin drives the fish through the water. Some fish cannot wriggle their bodies to swim. They only use their fins for swimming. Can you tell how these fish swim? Look at that, it looks like they move their arms, right? Rays such as this giant manta ray use their big pectoral fins to glide through the water. The seahorse uses its dorsal fin to push it along. Most fish have an air-filled balloon inside their bodies called a swim bladder. The swim bladder keeps the fish from sinking when it's not swimming. The swim bladder also helps the fish rise to the surface or dive to the bottom. The swim bladder of a fish. Here's the swim bladder right there. The swim bladder helps the fish to dive to the bottom or rise to the surface. Did you know sharks and rays do not have swim bladders? If they do not keep swimming all the time, they will sink. Did you know that some fish can fly and that some fish can walk? A flying fish can leap from the water and glide along the surface. A flying fish uses its long pectoral fins as wings. A gurnard can keep creep along the bottom of the sea using its pectoral fins as legs. How do fish see? 
Many fish have eyes and can see very well. Most fish have their eyes on the sides of their heads. They can see what is in front, behind, to the left, to the right, above, and below, all at the same time. This is a blue angelfish. Flatfish, such as flounders and soles, have both eyes on one side of their head. A flatfish lies with its blind side flat on a seabed. He is 8 days old, 13 days old, 17 days old, 22 days old, and 365 days old. When a sole hatches, it looks like any other baby fish. Within a few weeks, however, the fish's body becomes flat and the eye from one side moves to the other side. Some fish live in pools in caves where it is so dark that the fish are blind. This is a blind gudgeon. Many fish live deep in the ocean where there is very little light. Some fish can make their own light. A flashlight fish can flash its light. Scientists believe that this light may help the fish see in the dark. Can fish hear? Fish do not have outer ears like we do, but fish can hear sounds. Fish can feel the vibrations caused by sounds in the water. Fish can also feel the vibrations caused by movements in the water. Fish pick up vibrations in the water by using a special tube called the lateral line. You, you can see the lateral line on this more long. The lateral line runs along each side of the fish's body just under the skin. Vibrations pass onto the lateral line through tiny holes in the skin. This is the lateral line of a fish. There's the hole, the skin, special hairs that pick up vibration, nerves to the brain, and that's close up of the lateral line. The vibrations tell the fish if there is a motorboat passing or if there's a big hungry fish nearby looking for something to eat. Where do fish come from? Most fish hatch from eggs. Some fish release, release millions of eggs into the water and then swim away. Because fish eggs are tiny and have no protective shell, most of the eggs are eaten by other animals. Many sharks give birth to live young. The baby shark develops inside its mother. There's a female shark giving birth. Most rays and a few sharks lay eggs that are protected by cases. Each case holds one baby fish. Here's a shark egg case, and there's a spotted ray egg case. Some fish look after their eggs and babies. The male stickleback builds a nest and guards the eggs until they hatch. Then he guards the baby fish until they can look out for themselves. The chich lid carries its eggs in its mouth to keep them safe. The seahorse is a very strange fish. The female seahorse lays her eggs in the pouch of the male seahorse. After two to six weeks, the eggs have developed into baby seahorses. The baby seahorses then shoot out of an opening in the male's pouch. This is a male seahorse giving birth. And here's some fun fish facts. Can fish taste? Yes, most fish have taste buds in their mouths. Some fish have taste buds on the outside of their bodies. Do fish sleep? Yes, fish sleep with their eyes open. They do not have eyelids because their eyes are kept clean and moist by the water. And this race is sleeping. Awesome job, boys and girls. You did so good listening to the story. We're going to do a fun reading activity next. I'll see you then. Bye.